All right, here's the truck, 69 D100. Right now it is ice cold, hasn't been started since Sunday. Today's Thursday. Just been sitting. Uh, it's a 318. This is a high output alternator. Has a new radiator. Has an Optima red top battery. Um, it has Headman headers on it. It has these uh, insulated spark plug wires cap rotor um, you know the guy told me he put a lot of new seals in it it's got looks like a new belt there and it's got a new starter back there so let's see if it will in fact start it's got rust um, under the hood here going down that way rusty um, the fenders are pretty strong here. Um, that's all good. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can start it, drive it around the block, and uh, put it in this uh, empty lot next to the house to try to do a better walk around of it, give it a little more space. These are the front um, markers and turn signals. Not connected, don't work. All this has been rewired back here. Um, these are new headlights. Obviously, they're LEDs, so they didn't come with LEDs. I'll say that. Here's uh, some more rust that's kind of been filled in, maybe with some epoxy. So the hood was white, and this panel here was white, and then the whole truck was painted blue. So this is not the original hood. It's got these louvers in it uh, from a power wagon, probably. Um, and you can see the patina is just like pretty great, um, the way it's checked and the blue is starting to go. So the rest of the truck is green underneath the blue. I've actually, um, I don't even know what that does. I've never put gas in it. <laughs> um. It had uh, apparently a CB radio antenna up here. It's got BF Goodrich tires on it, on American Racing wheels. This is probably some of the worst rust on the outside of the body right here and right here. I was gonna paint over this with this uh, Eastman rust coat stuff, but I'll throw it in with the truck. Uh, it also includes a new door lock kit. Um, for both doors because this one doesn't have one and this is the gauge cluster surround uh, the tail lights and the tail light housings uh, that's a reverse light cap these are some parts that's a piece of wiring uh, for the tail light harness uh, this is the wooden bed um, all right I'm gonna start it up take it around the block and walk around the rest of it where I got a little more room So, hadn't been started in four days. Five days or so. Um, this is the Bluetooth head unit um, that it's already wired for. The plug is back here. It just plugs in. And then the whole... Um, gauge cluster surround goes right in here. Um, let's take my documentation. So the rust inside here is kind of around here. And I thought there was some back here. Not really though. Yeah, mostly just kind of up here behind the sun visor over the mirror. Um, headlights work. Uh, this is the choke, it's a manual choke, which you're not going to use. This is the, um, not here. This is the emergency brake, which I don't think works. This says vent, I have no idea what that does. Um, the emergency flashers obviously don't work because the turn signals aren't wired. Uh, 
these are the wipers, which do work. Kind of got to time them up and get them to sit down. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, the fan works. And it does have heat. Um, and, okay, so this is a speaker that's actually wired in. And then there's another speaker up here. This is the uh, cover for the speedometer. Second gauge cover goes on this. Um, high beam, low beam switches on the floor, and it does work. Um, there's my wife, she's pulling out of the driveway. We're gonna give her a minute. This is the blower motor down here, probably. Um, what was that sound? I thought that says. Um, and then, you know, you can see, like, when this truck was painted blue, they just, like, painted the whole truck, like, the inside and the outside, which is pretty cool. These are the shoulder belts. There's no lap belt. Um, I don't think this truck came with belts. I could be wrong about that. Um, here's the old gun rack, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I wouldn't really recommend putting a gun in there, but I guess you could. All right, so... The shifter is kind of flopping right here, right? Like this little pin mechanism needs to be rebuilt. And this thing right here is not really going to give you a clear indication of uh, what gear you're in. So you got to park and you're in reverse. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have to resume this video when she backs out of the driveway. This is going to take a while. Um, I'll be right back.